I was looking for some new themes to try in VS Code and like any good developer, I asked Twitter. So here's about 10 different VS Code themes that you've probably never even heard of. What's up everyone, my name is James Q. Quick and I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And I also do a lot about VS Code, which is one of my favorite topics in particular and one that people seem to respond to. So I've been using the same handful of extensions now for themes in VS Code for a couple of years. And I was kind of looking to find something new that I could try out. So I posted on Twitter and I got a lot of different suggestions for ones that uh, I want to share with you. So I'm just going to kind of run through this list. And if you want to know what the existing themes are that I've been using, you can find all the details about my setup on my uses page. The link for that is in the description below. And I'm curious, as you go through and watch this, comment below with which one of these is your favorite and if you've already used it before, because I think these should be themes that are hopefully new to you as well as to me. So let's go ahead and dive in. We'll start with one that is a lot bigger. This is the biggest theme by far. I just had to throw it in here because of the name and Panda theme. I think that's really cool. So for what it's worth, all these are searchable in, inside of the extensions tab. So for each of these names, you'll just search it in the extensions tab, open up the page, and I've already installed all of these. But what I can do now is set this as my color theme. So I'm going to set this as my color theme. Go ahead and set that there and click on Panda syntax. And I like the kind of like muted gray in this and especially the teal and the pink. There's not too many colors going on, but they're very like muted kind of Easter ish colors. And the teal is super fun. This is actually probably one of my favorite colors. So I actually really like this a lot. It's very subtle, but the colors have pops of fun with the pink and the green. So I really like that one a lot. Again, this is the biggest one on this list. So if you've heard of that one, probably not as much of a surprise. So let's get into some of the smaller ones. This is VS Code Punk Dark theme. And this one's uh, very different than what we just saw. So let's go ahead and set this. It's very dark, as you can see, like probably you can see the light kind of changing off of my face. Again, uh, similar with the green in here. I, I like that green, although I like the other green a little bit better. And then uh, the red or slash like, like a darker salmon almost is kind of cool. And then like muted yellow in here. I kind of like this as well. I think the big thing I, I like least about it is how dark the background is. That makes it feel even a little more aggressive, but I like the way the colors play, play off of each other. And I like it on a dark background, just maybe a little less dark, if that makes sense. But I think this is a really cool one at only 2,200 installs. You could be like one of a handful of people that actually have that installed. All right, next up is Andromeda. Now this is a bigger one as well. So I included a couple, you'll have like 10 of these are smaller and then you'll have some big ones. I included this one because I think this branding is so cool. Like they've, this is obviously a company that like has good branding and stuff. So this is another uh, kind of muted one. They also have a few different uh, versions, but I like, I like the choice of the kind of gray color here on the background with the colors on top of it, with the pop of purple and the orange and the red. And you can see a lot of these colors actually have a lot of similarities. The background changing makes a huge difference. So that's one more big one and we'll get into uh, more of the smaller ones. Now this one's fun, Poi Mandras, because I feel like this is what I want to include in my house as my color scheme, like this palette here. Very muted, uh, even more so than what we've seen before, and I like it. So let's go ahead and set this one. Uh, notice they have like some different, uh, different types of this. So this one is muted more so than the other ones because you don't really have much of that pop of yellow and red, et cetera. I like the way that the, the blue and the green kind of dominate this. And then you get the brackets in yellow and a little bit of your values are in red. Uh, I personally like a little bit more, like a little more pop, a little more color to this, but I think this is really cool. Uh, and this one is only 24,000 installs. So it's a relatively smaller one as well. Now the next one is gentle themes and this only has 1900 installs. So let's go ahead and set this. And there's a couple of different ones. So there's gentle builder and gentle dark. So let's go back to our index page. And I kind of wish this color was different. I kind of wish that wasn't, uh, it's probably a light gray, but like basically a white color. I wish that had a little more color to it, uh, but I think this works really well as well. The background is dark, but I feel like, I feel like the dark, like the dark background actually works really well with what's here. I just not, I don't love the white, but everything else I feel like works really well. And there was another one. So color theme and gentle. So there was gentle builder. I don't know the difference in those. Maybe if you use this then you know the difference. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But Gentle Themes is another cool one there. Before we go on to the next theme, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Storyblock. 
Storyblock is an amazing headless CMS option that offers a unique combination of visual editing tools and highly customizable content blocks for marketers on top of a modern headless architecture for our developers. That means you can use Storyblock with your favorite framework, whether it's FeltKit or React or Next or Astro or anything like that. You can pull in data from Storyblock and be able to work with it easily and seamlessly in your code base. One of my favorite features is the live preview, which enables you to preview all of your data inside of Storyblock exactly how it's gonna look on your website after you make a couple of connections. So Storyblock is an amazing headless CMS option. Make sure to try it out with a link in the description below. Now, next up is Cyberpunk. Uh, and this is a bigger one, not as big as the first couple two that we saw. But let's go ahead and set it to, ooh, they've got a, a Scarlet one in beta. That's kind of intense. This definitely has the Cyberpunk feel to it. I don't love the red in here. Um, I feel like I feel like there's a little bit too much color in here. This is kind of cool, especially if like you had a themed setup, like if that was a color that you used in your room or if it was similar to a brand color that you had, I think that would be really cool. Um, this has a really uh, like 80s vibe to it, which is a ton of fun. Uh, so this was Cyberpunk and then there was, I thought they had a couple of different ones in here. Let's go back to Cyberpunk set color theme, the Activate Umbra protocol and the regular Cyberpunk. This is really cool to me. I love this. It's got almost like an ice feel with the white and the light or like blue on the purple background. That's a cool combination. I think that is really neat and really, uh, really kind of soothing, especially with the uh, with the green outline and stuff. Anyway, I think that one's super cool. Really nice. Uh, so the next one up is Moonlight, and this was a little bit smaller. This is probably one of my favorite themes. I think I had seen this one before that I've never used. Uh, so let's just go to basic moonlight. It's like kind of basic, uh, but I think it's really clean and really simple. Again, you see a lot of these similar colors. You see a green in here. You see a, a red salmon color. You see a pink, orange, yellow. A lot of these things have a lot of similarities to them. I also think this background is uh, is not too dark, which is a nice uh, add-in as well. So that is moonlight. And then uh, let's go to the Vitesse theme. This is one I never heard of. Also as a developer, I never use light themes. So I'm kind of curious, let's start with the test light and you can like, my eyes are having to adjust. Uh, this is very different for me. I never use a light theme. It feels very hard to read. And this is again, probably just with me, like not doing it very often, um, but that feels hard to read. So I'm gonna change this to, uh, let's not do black. I like maybe dark soft. I love getting into like that darker gray type stuff. This feels like a very, earthy thing like the green the yellow that's almost or like a brownish yellow in a in like gray background it feels earthy and natural i don't know if like if that makes sense or not but anyway that's the vitesse theme and then uh duotone dark themes these are a little bit uh this is another little bit bigger one 160 000 one and they have a ton of different versions you can see earth and forest and sea i'm kind of curious i love those blue colors uh, Winter is Coming is one of my favorite themes of all time, which is by uh, John Papa. It's got a very blue feel to it, more so even than this. It's interesting that there's not a differentiation in color between these two other than like lighter or brighter green versus more muted green. So that's kind of an interesting choice to not really separate that. But the blues and the and the green, I feel like these two just pair uh, really, really well together. So there's a few different versions of that one that you can check out. All right, this one I thought was super, super fun at 17,000 installs, blueberry banana, you can assume like, or, or uh, not orange, yellow and blue are probably gonna make up uh, this one. So let's go ahead and set the theme to blueberry banana and go back to the code. And you can see the yellow in here with the blue right next to it. And then orange, I almost wish this was like blue again. Like I feel like a whole line of that would make sense because mixing in that orange is a little tough, but I kind of like the pops of the like, like pure banana colored yellow so this is obviously like aptly named i think that's a cool one and uh and pretty unique and the last one is the unnamed uh which is very interesting so let's go ahead and set uh this one to unnamed this only has a thousand installs so you could be one of like very few people that have this installed i like this one a lot i've talked about this like teal color i really like i like that it kind of dominates most of this with pops of the yellow and the blue i feel like those work really well together I almost wish they'd kept that theme for these and like gotten rid of the pink. Although I love the pink color. I feel like it could be 
really cool with using the green or blue again. Uh, maybe that's too much of it, uh, which may make sense. But those are about 10 different themes. There's a couple in there that were bigger. So it's, it's probably like 12 total that we did, but about 10 different themes that hopefully you've never heard of. Again, let me know in the comments, have you heard of and or used any of these before? And what is your favorite theme that you think no one else has used? Let me know that. And then maybe I'll do a review on that in the future or a follow-up video with 10, of, 10 additional themes to let other people know what cool themes are out there. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.